Man, that's just spectacular. You cannot get a view like that unless you leave the house. Hey everyone, welcome back to another adventure. We're out in the beautiful mountains of Idaho. We got this beautiful river. We're surrounded by trees and mountains. And we're just gonna have a good old time. I'm excited for this one. We're gonna use the insulated solo tent, which a lot of you guys said looked like a coffin last time. And we're just gonna do an overnighter in that. All right, so we got our campsite here. We've got a nice looking uh, fire pit. Looks like they got some good logs in there already and maybe some extra. It's always a treat when you show up at a campsite and you find some extra wood and stuff like that. That's always a good thing. So I knew right there it was gonna be a good spot. We got the river over there, but over here I think is where we're going to set up camp. I've got a tree here and a tree here. So we should be able to put up a little tarp and it's fairly level right here, which will be a great spot to put the insulated tent. Man, check this out though. Right here next to the river. Gotta be careful going down. Look at that. Man, that's pretty. I just feel like Lewis and Clark out here, you know, on an expedition. <laughs> okay, let's get everything set up and we'll enjoy our little camp. I've got my steaks and I've got a tarp. So we should be able to set this up pretty fairly easy. Oops. <laughs> Take our string and throw it around this. All right, there we go. Got a nice little uh, tarp shelter. This thing's quite big, actually. It really is. This will be perfect. Uh, it's not super level there, I guess, but we're camping. Can't expect perfection. Okay, I've got a ground sheet. Now, this isn't a typical ground sheet. It's actually a survival blanket. A lot of you guys have asked me what this is, and I just get it from Walmart. I've gone through quite a few of these, so this is a new one. The last one got all ripped up. Um, you've got a reflective side, and you got an orange side. And I'm sure you could actually use this as a shelter as well. I'm not really sure what's the ideal way of placing this, whether you put silver side down or silver side up. Um, if anybody has any ideas on that, let me know. But I've tried it multiple different ways, and I don't really see a difference. So, but this time I'm going to do silver side up. Now for our coffin tent, <laughs> or solo tent, I should say. Kind of is like a little tiny coffin, but I like it. Okay, gonna have a pole. Really doesn't take much to pump this up. I could probably blow this up with just my mouth, but. Hey, why not have a little added, added easy nest to it, I guess, I don't know. Man, that's some good pressure there. Okay. Now you just gotta put in these poles. It's kind of like your uh, ridge line, your center pole here. 
Stick it in one side, go to the other. Then we just tie the tie the top up. Now we're not forecasted to have any rain or anything, but you never know what will happen. So this doesn't have any rainproofing on it. There is a secondary tent that would go over the top of this. Uh, I just didn't bring it, so because I just want to hang out in the insulated tent tonight. Okay, so on each corner of this, you do have an area to stake it down. Um, I had to roll this up a little bit because it was a little too big. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to climb in through the side instead of going through this way. So there's a door over here, as some of you guys saw in the other video. You can also open up the sides. Ah. There we go. I'm inside. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of room in here at all. Come here. Come here. Come check it out. All right, here we are. So I'm inside, you guys. Here. <laughs> there's my feet. There's how much room I have between me and my head. Oh, I can open this up so that we can have some more light. Let's do that. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys think? <laughs> um, yeah, it is quite cramped. There's no doubt about that. But boy, hey, we got a nice little view. Got a nice view of the woods, and I'm actually getting really hot. Okay, let's uh, keep getting this thing set up. I've got uh, a different inflatable mattress that I'm gonna put in here because the other one was just too big for this, even though that's my favorite mattress. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> much better than the last one. Now I got a lot of gear, so I do have my truck right over there, uh, just out of shot. So I did bring quite a bit of stuff, quite a bit of gear. Okay, we got that. Now we got our Hess pillow. Best pillow on the market. At least that's what I think. It is so comfortable. And their mattresses are really comfortable too. There we go. There you go. Nice little bed. Uh, oh. Still up a little bit with this uh, sleeping pad. You know, this tent is designed for like a hammock. It's actually meant for a hammock. I'll have to show you guys that. So if you're at all claustrophobic, I don't know if this is for you. <laughs> Woo -hoo! <sighs> okay, I kind of can feel like I can't breathe. Up top here, you can open this window and uh, that makes all the difference right there. Because then you basically are just breathing, breathing air, which you should be. Oh, oh man, oh, fresh air. <laughs> oh, ah, that feels good. Oh man, it's hot in here. Really hot. Oof. Might need to go sit down by the river and relax for a little bit. Yeah, a little bit claustrophobic, that's for sure. The one good thing about this is you can definitely roll out of bed in the morning. Thank <laughs> you. 
Man, that brings a whole new meaning to rolling out of bed. <laughs> oh. We'll get this fire going so we can have dinner. Oh, I'm pretty hungry, so get her going. This is called an upside down fire. Basically what you do is you uh, start it from the top. And it works really well. I like to use these tumbleweeds to start my fires. These can be found in like the barbecue section. Um, they're really good for starting charcoal and stuff. So when I started grilling, I was using these. And I know how good they are. We're going to be making chicken fajitas tonight. So we're going to cook it over the fire. So I kind of have to let this uh, burn down for a little bit. So I have some coals. It's currently 7 o'clock. Um, it is getting a little chilly out here, being close to the river and all. Uh, things do get cold. So we'll see how it goes. Nice warm fire will be nice. And some good food in the belly. Well, I feel like it's been a while since I sat around a campfire. Been doing some hot tent camping, but there's just something about a campfire. Really love it. It makes me really feel like I'm camping. <laughs> Especially when you cook over it. That makes all the difference. I really didn't know what to make for this camping trip. So when I was in my grocery store, I found this like little meal kit and I picked it up and it's just basically everything you need all prepped and ready to go to make fajitas um, and I thought that was kind of cool I think this is probably like something perfect for camping this is like what it's designed for or somebody that doesn't have a whole lot of time to prep their food I guess but anyways I thought that was really cool and it cost me since I'm a member at Safeway, eight bucks, almost, well, probably nine bucks, a little over nine bucks. Um, so hopefully it all turns out good. Don't know how long it's been sitting there. <laughs> and we're gonna do it in my walk. So I've got my walk here. We're gonna throw it over the fire and have some delicious chicken fajitas. Mm, I'm excited. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna just cook the uh, veggies. I'll get those nice and seared up. Um, make that simple. Oh, look at that, see? Even comes with its uh, fajita seasoning. Fajita seasoning. <laughs> gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil to this. So it has a little bit of uh, 
something to go with. I bet that'll go quick. Man, there's nothing better than uh, grilling up some veggies here. It smells so good. Okay, we'll transfer them over to this plate real quick. Oh, you guys, that smells so good already. Cover it up to keep it warm. Now we'll add the chicken in and cook that up. See, look how easy that is. It's already pre-sliced and everything. Add our fajita seasoning pack. A little more oil. Coat that chicken nice and good with that fajita seasoning. Get it all over it. Okay. See how this cooks. Okay, that chicken's looking good. I would say it's done at this point, so we'll throw in the veggies. Oh man, you guys, look at that. I believe it's done. Now we need to plate it up. Get that nice and toasty. Let's see if I can flip it. Oh, kind of did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, guys, look at that. That looks delicious. I like a little sour cream on mine. So I'm gonna do a little bit of sour cream. And I got some crumble cheese. I'm gonna do a little bit of cheese on here. Is this traditional? I don't know. Then I have some verde sauce. Oh, we're doing this up Kenny style, I guess. I don't know if this is all authentic stuff, but it's the way I like it. Oh, you guys, look at that. That looks delicious. Oh, I cannot wait to eat it. Okay, before it gets cold, we better bless the meal. Down they fall, Lord. I just thank you so much for this time to come out here and just see something new. Lord, here in the rushing water and, and being out here by a warm fire, just it just does good to my soul. And I just want to thank you and praise you for it. Your creation is just so awe-inspiring and it just shouts your name. This didn't just happen by happenstance. It was created, and I just thank you for that. Lord, as we near your return, I just pray that you will help us to be faithful servants of yours. I thank you for this food, and I just pray that you will bless it to my body. Watch over the family as I'm away. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, boy. That looks so good. I can't wait to try it. I got to just try it right now, because I think it's a little cold already. That is a chicken fajita. Mm. Oh yeah, that is so good. Cooking around that hot fire gets you really toasty. And having a delicious meal in your belly, it's even better. <laughs> mm. The seasoning tastes great. The chicken is nice and juicy. Then there's nothing like some seared veggies. So good.
dinner was delicious, you guys. That was amazing. I love simple, easy, delicious meals, especially while camping. Now, I am a little bit full, but I still have room for some dessert. I have creme caramel, or is it creme caramel? I'll let you decide. <laughs> I say caramel. That's what I say, because you don't caramelize anything. You caramelize stuff. <laughs> Okay, this looks delicious. Not really going with a uh, theme tonight for dessert. Um, this is actually a, I don't know, a French dessert, I guess. Look at that. Kind of looks like baby food a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, whoa. Wow, that is rich. It's very soft and slippery. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> Probably like eating baby food, just way more delicious. <laughs> oh man, it does hit the spot though. Oh. Oh. Okay, you guys, I'm in bed. I made it in here. I don't know what all you can see. <laughs> uh, I got my shoes down there and my coat. I don't think you can really see it, but I'm a little cramped. Definitely a little cramped in here. <laughs> I've done it before though, so it's good. Okay, let's take a look at the temperatures. See if I can even see it. Okay, looks like it's 41 outside and it's 52 degrees Fahrenheit inside. Now I just got in here, so it'll change probably. It's gonna go up. And that means it is, oh, I'm getting fogged. That's uh, five degrees Celsius outside and 12 degrees Celsius in. Not bad. Nice and toasty in here. Actually, I'm probably gonna have to lose, probably lose my sweatshirt and I still have my jeans on. I gotta take those off too. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna be cozy tonight. Nice and cozy. I love being out here by the peaceful rivers. It's so beautiful. And there's nothing like mountains and beautiful trees. This is my kind of place, you guys. It's where I'm supposed to be. I just love it. Well, hopefully everything goes well tonight. Um, I'll check in with you guys if I hear anything. Oh, I did set up the trail cam. I did set up the trail cam. Um, I saw some fresh droppings uh, when I was looking out there. And I was like, well, I better just throw up the trail cam and see if we'll catch something. I don't know if it'll happen. Um, I've been setting it up, but I just don't tell you guys because I never see anything. And I don't like to uh, get your hopes up. So we'll check that in the morning, see if we caught anything. And uh, yeah. All right, that's enough from me. I'll see all of you in the morning. Good night. morning oh I want to keep sleeping I'm tired but I can hear the birds out there and 
see that the sun is up. I, don't, I think it's kind of cloudy because we had some rain last night. Can't really see much. We definitely got some rain. I think the tarp uh, looks like it's holding up. We got a little bit of pooling of water over there, but we did good. Uh, it's nice and toasty in here. It feels great. We're upwards of 62 degrees in here right now. Look at that. That is toasty. And it's 47 degrees outside, which is 8 degrees Celsius and 17 degrees Celsius inside. And it's 9 o'clock. It's time for me to get up. Yeah, get up, make some breakfast. Enjoy another beautiful day. It's a little, uh, a little cramped in here, but I think it's kind of cool. I like the cocoon. <laughs> I feel all cozy and, and comfortable in here, and the way that it keeps you warm, I like that. And I can breathe. I'm okay. <laughs> all right, let's climb out of here. Definitely got some rain on there. Some water collection. Oh, there's a spider. Wow, it's definitely a cloudy day. Nothing spectacular. So we do have some water that pooled up on there. Let's see, I'll just lift it up. Hopefully it'll just drain down the backside. There you go. It kept me nice and dry though, so that was really good. I'm happy about that. Okay, I am curious about the trail cam, so let's go check the trail cam first before we start a fire and make some breakfast. Man, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. This is where the fresh, fresh stuff was. I think they cross, come up through here. There's another trail on that side somewhere. At least that's what I think happens. I got the trail cam right here. See if we caught anything. Nothing. Nothing, you guys. Man. Ah, oh. like I said, it is typically a disappointment, but we've caught something on it before. Just uh, take some patience. <laughs> Starting to get a little, uh, little muggy out now. Got my coffee on though. Good old camp coffee. Using the percolator. We'll see how it does.
like I'm burning my bacon a little. A little hot. Do a little sour cream. Oops, that was a lot of sour cream. Some of that uh, Verde sauce. And then we got our bacon. Our crispy, crispy bacon. <laughs> I'll just put a couple pieces on there like that. That looks good. something. It looks like a coin. I don't know what this is. Look at that. I just found that in the fire. It says Israel on it. That is crazy. It says Israel. This must be uh, Israel's uh, currency. One, one cent, one, it says new, new sh shekel, and maybe it's a shekel. This is one shekel. I have never, I have never seen anything like this before in my life. And here it is in this fire pit. That is crazy. That is really cool. It's all rusty and and kind of gross looking. Uh, I don't know if I could like polish that off. I think I'm gonna leave it just like that because it's how I found it. That is really cool. That is very special to me for some reason. <laughs> Finding Israeli money, Israeli currency here in the US, I mean, it's not surprising, but it's surprising to me for the fact that I've never seen anything like this. That is cool. That is really cool. That's a token that I'll keep. All right, I'm all picked up, packed up, and I'm ready to go. Hey, the adventure does not have to stop here. I've got other videos. I've got playlists, uh, winter camping, insulated tent camping, cabins, all types of adventures. So if you want to keep hanging out with me, just check it out. I had a great time out here. I hope you guys did as well. And man, I just love finding beautiful places like this. All right, that's enough for me. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I'll see you on the next adventure. I'm all right. I'm okay. At least I didn't roll out of bed. <laughs> what an experience.